Greetings, welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today I'm here to share the custom order that I had for the month of April, which is sort of like a ocean slash captain's log slash sea witch sort of theme, kind of all meshed together. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this book is an interesting size. It's about eight by seven, and then I have a three and a half inch spine on it. I did do ledges on the spine. Also on the cover here, you can see I've added a bunch of little trinkets and doodads um, sort of to make it look like these are things that might have fallen um, onto the book while, they were, while the book was in the ocean, at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. And so this is how it looks. I did all hand painting on the muslin at the back. There are corners on the book and then I just did this little collage here on the back. The closure is sorry silk. Um, I did leave space in this book so that it'll have, you know, space to grow. Um, it, do, it is meant to be used for writing and memory keeping, so I had to keep that in mind. It is hollow back also, so it should lay completely, well, it does lay completely flat when it's open. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. As per always, I have a bunch of charms off to the side. There's little some kind of creature, a seahorse, and then another squid-like creature here, and then just some um, pearls that are kind of like in ocean colors. Um, and of course, I, I like even here on the cover, I did try to use my rust paste, which is gone. Like I can hardly even, I, I think I have to throw it all away because it's like, it's not working, but I tried to even rust some of these metal pieces a bit so that it would look a little bit more rusty. And then there's seashells and like little barnacles, which are just beads that kind of match this here. So when you open it up on the inside, really pretty glitter paper, and it says this, book's be this book belongs to, so she can write her name here. And up at the front, I have a little piece of ephemera and a vintage photograph of the beach right upon opening. And then we have this little fish that I just fussy cut. You can journal on the back of him. And then we have a big lace pocket here. Um, I did not fill all the pockets again so that she would be able to uh, use and fill these as she goes along. Um, so we have some book pages that I've added in here. This one in particular can be used to journal on. I just distressed it a bit. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea book page. And then there are a couple of these in here. Um, they're just coffee dyed paper stationery to, with like ocean stuff on them. And then I put a wax seal on them so that she can break it open and just journal inside whenever she's ready to do so. Just a fun little interactive element. Um, I did stain all of the pages in here. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you'll also have known that I did this little like faux um, junk pages that are sticking out of the book and I did that on purpose so that it wouldn't actually cause any um, you know compromise to the actual pages of the book so these little pages can stick out and they can get you know bent and torn and it and it's fine so that's that's the reason why I did that like that um, I did a lot of like coloring with paints and stuff like that lots of different paper textures and weights here I have wrote I have a handwritten um, she wanted to look like some of the writing in the journal had faded away because it was in the ocean. So I just wrote some like fake excerpts, like snippets here and there. And then some of them are obviously more faded out than this, but I did fade some of them out. A little bit of stamping in the book. Some tracing paper. Lots of places to write and collage on top of. I did some stenciling with my net so that it would look kind of like the, um, sort of like maybe a net landed on a page and then like the sea salt just got hard on the book. So a little bit of that stenciling in here. I also aged, <clears throat> I also aged some tape so it would just kind of make it look a little bit more old. So a few pieces of that aged tape are scattered here and there. Another journal card. It's just like a little portal. It's another one of those little written things that I put in. It's all fake. Some like book pages I try to like put on and tear off so that it will look kind of like, you know, just tattered black ink. And then here's my little potion, ocean potion bottle. <laughs> 
Um, so I thought that she could use this as a bookmark because she does plan to take this on the go with her, I believe, to journal. So I was trying to think of like ways that would not make the book bulky so there's not bulky ephemera in here and the cover is not too bulky because it's going to be handled a lot. So I thought that putting this little ocean potion on the garment pin would be a nice way to use as a bookmark so she can move that around um, the book. Just some different creatures here and there. I made some envelopes out of the tracing paper from when I was dying. Dying papers. <laughs> She wanted some unusual looking creatures, so I did try and put some of those in here as well. I did put some little book pages on here to make it look like stamping a little. I also, on some of like little random spots, put some transparent sequins, like iridescent, so that it would look like fish scales that are um, stuck in the book piece of fabric there that I coffee stained. There's a total of six signatures in the book. I use some of the napkin just to kind of like make the pages look kind of weird texture as if it has been in the ocean. We have this guy here. Another fish. Some more fish scales. Vintage ledger paper. Some more of my faded out writing. This is a vintage stereo card. Another little ocean creature here. Some more stenciling. Another fish and another big journaling card there. Another one of those little portals or porthole. Another one of these ephemera things that she can break open. <clears throat> I have these little garment pins. They have some crystals on them um, that I got from Priscilla and seashells as well. Flip out. Another tracing paper here. Mm -hmm. Got these little sailor guys. So I did try and leave as much um, blank space and storage space as I could. We've got the trunks, little imagery there. There's the center. So, I mean, obviously, you know, there's going to be much more to see once the book is in hand. Um, that's, I think, where all the magic is because there's lots of, like, little subtle things to make it seem like this book really did come out of the ocean. Um, that's kind of hard to convey. There's another stereo card. Hmm. That's a little green tissue paper. This can be used as a tuck spot. I also have two of these. I think I passed one already, but there's two of these teeny tiny little scrolls that I made and I just put those in. So there's one here and then there's another one up at the beginning. I'll let her find that one, but there are two teeny tiny little scrolls that I made and put in there. Flip out. Another tag. This is um, a mermaid tail that I made. It can be journaled um, on the back, but it's a paper clip. So this can be moved around, but it's made out of like scaly kind of fabric. So kind of neat. Okay. This here bag for some storage. Another pocket. So 
some more of that to make it feel and another wax seal the wax seals I did try and make them like oceanic colors so that's kind of fun and then there's another envelope that I made that's one of my fabric fabric envelopes and then um, you know and then you can just put that you know stuff in there as you find it as you go We've got some more <clears throat> imagery here another envelope <clears throat> so a few more pages got some little fabric in between some more fish scales another little garment pen there we go there's the center another fish bones a little bit of stamping all right and we're getting towards the end here. There's a big whale. One more envelope here. Some more of that aged tape. It looks so cool. Oh, and then I also did some smears of gesso. So like the water crest, that's kind of like what I was trying to mimic with that. So there's smears of gesso here and there. There's my stamp. And then this pretty like water reflective paper at the very back. And that is it, my friends. <clears throat> um, you know, I, you know, try to do my best as, as I could on this one. Um, not a lot of like really, really weird stuff as far as the ocean goes in the public domain. So, you know, I, I think I'm really happy with the way that this turned out and I hope that she is too. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. Thank you so much for trusting me to make this for you. Um, so happy to have another one of my books in your collection. Very much honored. So, um, all right, you guys, I don't know what I'll be doing next. I know we, we have a summer challenge that's going to be coming up pretty soon soon um and there there will be more details on that to come so that is gonna wrap it up for me for now be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into and until next time to the loo